First of all, thank you to Brasterisk. Can we get a big hand? <laughs> this next song is, well, it was supposed to be a duet, but the other person who I wrote it, the other part for, he isn't returning his calls for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe his phone's broken, I'm not sure. Um, Amuse yourselves for five seconds as I <laughs> pull this up. <laughs> Today, I'm just a dull one. Hoping one day we'll become a 
That's, there is no W1. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> when you put your hands on my body, it feels like the very first time. That's not a compliment. You wrap your eyes around me. Just tell me it's real. I wanna get down with my captain. Climb up this mountain. Drink from this fountain. Come on, baby. Down with my captain. His name is Morton. And I file the door just to spend more time with him down with my accountant. His name is Mountain, climb up to Mountain. Come on, baby, yeah, down with my accountant. His name is Morton, and I file the door just to spend more time with him. Feels like we're doing this dance most every year. Listen, we've had this conversation before. I've got a lot of deductions. Why don't you deduct the loneliness from my heart? As I said, I'm happily married. When you put your hands on my body, it feels like the very first time, yeah. You wrap your eyes around me. What does that mean? Just tell me it's real. I want to get down with my cat. Climb up this mountain, drink from this fountain. Come on, baby, down with my captain. His name is Morton, and I owe the torch. Spend more time with him, down with my captain. Climb up this mountain, drink from this fountain. Come on, baby, yeah, down with my captain. His name is Morton, and I owe the torch. Spend more time with him. So that's to you, Mort. Someday, you're going to divorce Agatha to be with me. She does the loneliness from my heart. 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 Deed up the loneliness, how? Deed up the loneliness, what? Deed up the loneliness, who? Deed up the loneliness, where? Deed up the loneliness, who? Deed up the loneliness, how? Deed up the loneliness, why? Deed up the loneliness, where? Deed up the loneliness from my heart. 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 So you all know that I'm a singer, of course. That's not a surprise, hopefully. But I'm more than just that, right? We all are. The instant I unmute this, it's going to play in the middle of the track and be totally emergent breaking. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, I'm a father, of course. I have two beautiful daughters uh, and one ugly son. Um, but more important than any of that bullshit, I'm a small business owner. <laughs> I, I mean, Markologic Enterprises is a small business. Um, so I thought, what would be more appropriate than to write uh, kind of an ode to my business heroes? I don't, does anybody know where? <laughs> Wait, I think they might be behind that. It's a prop heavy show. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is this goes out to my business heroes. Um, I mean Jordan Belfort, um, Elon Musk, Jeff Dahmer, all great business men. Yeah, I'm a business guy. I go to work, I wear an ugly tie. I got my own class, the only way to fly. So they all know I'm a business guy. Business guy? Yeah, I'm a business guy. All the other babies sitting in diapers, I was playing with my windshield wipers on the hood of my baby's band. 
changes as the business expands. I was driving all my baby friends to the club where the Henny never ends. You think you're Norm Core? My name's Norman Core. My father was a banking plumber, and at the age of 14, I hunted a man for sport and average. His name was Larry DeJerry and Ward. I seen him in my dreams. Yes, yes. Working 79 hours a day, can't afford to take the time off to treat my exploded spleen. Don't know the name of my beautiful daughter, just my ugly silly Dean. Put your hands up in the air if you know what I mean. I wear two ugly ties. Got my own ties, it's the only way. They all know I'm a business guy. I spit truth like most down from the mouth. My commandment stack cheese, get it in my account. I spread sheets like the son of a mother. I gotta pray like the weather to gum wood and discover the let another new continent on the moon if he had half the documented, even half of my lovers. But still a talk on an economical Nobel Prize. When I'm under the covers, I got an MBA thesis of incredible size. And after money, knowledge is the ultimate treasure. They call me the three full man because I'm 200% business and 100% pleasure. <laughs> you know, after a long day doing work that nobody can really understand what it is, I like to settle down with an ice cold business guy. One part, Mallory. Of course. For the child in <laughs> And oh yes, they still make it. Or local, not easy to find in 2024. <laughs> um, so it may seem like, you know, I have it all figured out. <laughs> I'm sure that's the impression you're getting so far. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've been feeling very lost lately, you know, I, and I, I talked to my friend, uh, Gus, and Gus said, you know what? You gotta follow your subconscious. Let your subconscious lead. You find your desires through your subconscious. Make a vision board and like, no wrong answers, right? Just explore what does your heart really desire? So I wanna, I made that vision board. Who here has made a vision board, by the way? Okay, you got a couple, you got a couple. I wanna share mine with you. <laughs> so, so Certain themes emerged. <laughs> um, so I apologize because this is not going to be so much a song as, you know, when I showed this vision board to Gus, he didn't say anything for a few minutes. Um, and then he said, you know, you should keep a dream journal. Um, so this is going to be less a song and more uh, a sonic exploration of that dream journal. So I, I, hope, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Mmm, many love breaks in my big old truck. Driving in my big truck through a wooded area, a crisp autumn day. The skylarks are singing, the Nissans are growling, a branch crunches under my rig. A breeze wends its way through my naked torso. I rise, thighs peeling from genuine leather seats, and my head pops out of the automated summer. I emerge a new man. I'm driving in my big truck. Mm -hmm. I'm driving in my big truck, I'm going so fast. Well, I'm in my big truck, I know it's going to last. Mmm, power steering. In my big old truck. Driving in my big truck down an aisle of marbled stone, the sound of church bells. The officiant is beaming, condensation forms on the headlights as I read my vows aloud. Your warranty with me will never expire. No, not as long as I draw breath. The sound of tin cans on the road as we drive an even bigger truck towards a new life. Together. Driving in my even big truck. Oh, and it's going so fast. My big, big, big truck. My favorite ice cream. My truck. My favorite color. My truck. My favorite amber. My truck. My favorite lava. My truck. My favorite painter. My truck. My favorite sweater. My truck. My favorite story. My truck. My favorite letter. My truck. My favorite place. My truck. My truck. My truck. My truck. My truck. To all the trucks below. <laughs> this one goes out to all the trucks we love. Because you never know what you got till it sitting in a scrapyard. It's a pile of twisted metal. Never gonna see those headlights again. But I gotta move on. As I see another pair of headlights coming down there. Big old truck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did I hear a honk out there? Somebody knows what I'm talking about in an intimate way. Well, 
come to a bit of an awkward part of the show because I have to have a little bit of an uncomfortable conversation with you all. <laughs> Not that uncomfortable. <laughs> um, it's come to my attention that some of you are listening to Markologic songs and then afterwards you're engaging in certain adult activities with each other. <laughs> and that's fine, we're very sex positive here, Markologic. But I'll just read, I'll just read the Spotify analytics here. <laughs> so after listening to a Markologic song, adults, 64% of adults engaged in some kind of sexual activity. 91% of them did not use any form of protection. Now, yeah, exactly. Now that is something that I can't stand by. And I thought to myself, what am I gonna do? Should I make there be less raw sexual power in my music? That's not right. So I came to the only other conclusion possible, which is Marco Logic Brain Compass. <laughs> now these are gonna be available. I'm just gonna put these right here. <laughs> Unlike the other merchandise, these are free. <laughs> so. Whether a penis is involved in your sexual activities or not, feel free to take one as a keepsake. <laughs> and thank you all for being here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this next song is exceptionally unrelated. This is a sports song. Boring slices. I got my aggravated yeah. son. It's time to head to the sport of feet. This is my house of fun. There's just a thing that I gotta tell you before we go. When it comes to the sporting games, you say my first love yo. We will win the sports today. We will win the sports today. We'll lose that sports today. But we will win that sports today. We will win that sports today. We will win that sports today. They will lose that sports today. But we will win that sports today. Baseball, football, it doesn't matter how tall you are. We will defeat you in the arena of sports. I'm the prime minister of all hitting. Take a swing, you thought you would win at sports today. For it is I who will win at sports today. It's as I say. That's how I play. We will win at sports today. We will throw the stick today, and we will swim very fast today, and we will run even faster today. We will throw the big rock today, and we will spin around before throwing it today. But we will never get dizzy today, no, no, no. But we will win. They call me the Iron Tiger. They call me the Dutch Potato. They call me Ira Glass, cause I'm about to lay some quiet science on your butt. To be a sports guy isn't easy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you tie. Sometimes die, I'd rather die, I'd rather die. <laughs> What are we gonna do today? Exactly. And what are they gonna do today? Exactly. And if they don't, we're gonna throw a huge hissy fit, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They will lose that sport today. We will win that sport today.
That was Raina Javeri. Big hand. She has a big, extremely awesome band, Muzzins, who you should check out. So as some of you might know, um, it's not just a one-person operation here at Markologic. Uh, I do have an agent. He does get 50% of all the contracts, so everything, 50% of what you paid up there uh, goes to him. And um, we had a disagreement recently because, um, you know, I was going through a hard time. My dad was really sick, and I wanted to write a song that was kind of exploring the difficulties of having an absentee father, how does that, how does the trauma sort of go through the family line, you know, and the problems systemically that come out of that for our meaning, the way to create meaning and masculinity in our culture. And he wanted to write a song about big dicks. Um, <laughs> and it was a big fight. It was a, it was a knockdown, drag out fight, let me tell you. We ended up compromising, which is a part of all relationships. Um, and I think we did it in a pretty natural way. I think, I think you're gonna have a hard time figuring out whose lyrics are whose in this song. <laughs> yeah, I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about it, it makes me sad. Yeah. yeah, I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about it, it makes me sad. The ladies say it's like giving birth to a can of Goya. I'm girthier than a sequoia, so call the lawyer. Tell him I laid waste to your uterine foyer. Stay away, my prodigious denicular mass will destroy you. And all you dads don't get a pass for coming up with trauma. I'm not exactly Obama. He got dreams from his father. All I got are these nightmares, waking up with paranoia, sweat soaking the sheets, this flood of memories. Every night I spent so alone in the childhood home. Oh, no one to call for. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I gotta get back to the script. Uh, I have lots of jits. <laughs> yeah, I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about him, it makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah, I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about it, it makes me sad. When I get naked, I get mistaken for a triple XL sausage wrapped in bacon and attached to a man who's quietly quaking and shaking with the sadness of never knowing his father. <laughs> what a father, never learning how to act. As a man, I see there's still so much that I lack. Always feel under attack, no matter how much heel I pack. So we we'll rap about the stupidest thing to avoid the simple fact that life is full of love. And yet, I'm alone. Fart zone. I forgot about the fart zone. <laughs> when I cry, my tears come thick. I need special pants. Why would he be such a freak? Extra big pants. Make me sick. They only make him in France. He's like a brick, so I sing about my real. Yeah, I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about it, it makes me sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really knew my dad. He's the only dad I ever had. When I think about it, it makes me sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I got two more songs for you today. Uh, first song, I do need a volunteer who... <laughs> a volunteer who uh, has a phobia of some kind. We're such a non-anxious society, I'm sure this will be hard to find. Um, what we're gonna do tonight is we're going to do an exercise in collective uh, healing through the power of music. So uh, I'm gonna ask you to volunteer, and sh it is going to have to be a phobia which is Number one, irrational, and number two, which you are comfortable sharing, and having ex excised from your body forever after tonight. <laughs> 
So go ahead and think about that. In the meantime, the rest of you also have uh, a role to play in this. So I'm going to uh, give a signal during this song, and when I do it, I want you to kind of make like a little bit of like a ooh. So like down here is going to be like ooh, and up here is ooh. Gets louder and higher, <laughs> right? Um, and then at the end, when you use your collective power to heal this person, I'm going to go ooh, ah! right? So it's just a close out right there. So let's try it. Let's practice it right here. We start low. Perfect, wonderful. Okay. Who wants to volunteer? <laughs> you, sir. What's, what's your name? Lisa. <laughs> Jacob flew here from Indiana to see this show. He is, he is a fantastic friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, would, you, would you share with the audience what your phobia is? Um, yeah, so. I have a real phobia of anything hard being near my eye. Uh, I was in, uh, I was giving like a big presentation once, like we were up on stage, and they were like, oh, everybody's got to do my mascara so your eyes pop. And I was like, I cannot have a pencil that close yeah. to my eye. Uh, glasses cool. instead of contacts, like I just can't, very sensitive about the eye. All right. Well, I'm sure you'll look forward to having that phobia uh, destroyed forever. <laughs> Um, so yes, there will be a part of the show where I will invite you up to take a seat on the stool, and then we'll do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and just a quick, I forgot about this, my lawyer says, just a quick note, uh, we make no guarantees that whatsoever as to the efficacy of this, uh, and in fact it may make things worse. Okay. Following is a list of some of the things I'm not afraid of. I'm not afraid of bees or angry geese or eating expired cheese. I'm not afraid that I'll forget the name of my co-worker of almost 11 years. And I'm not afraid that a group of wayward teens will accuse me of a crime I did not commit. I don't think about it, I don't think about it, I don't think about it, I'm so chill about it. These are not my deep anxiety. Oh, it's deep anxiety. I don't lie awake at night worrying about my hairy knees. These are not my deep anxiety. I do not scream, I do not scream, I do not scream, I do not scream when I see those angry bees. I didn't want to do this one live, too much trouble. This is neuroticism, Pilates will not bodily harm me, I am perfectly safe. <laughs> Flying snakes are not native to this region. I have no reason to believe that they are inside my bed. And if I should tell someone I'm not fond of that I don't like them, it's unlikely they will cut off my head. These are not my deep anxiety. I don't lie awake at night worrying about somebody poking my eye out. Not my deep anxieties. I do not scream. I do not scream. I do not scream. I do not scream. When I see those angry bees. Are we ready? Well, great volunteer. Give them all the energy you have. Okay, here we go. What do we say to this phobia? We say, be gone, phobia! Do we say to it, we say, you are not welcome here. We say, yes, you may have served a purpose at one point, but no longer. We say, you are not welcome in this body of Jacob. And what do we say? We say, be gone. <laughs> the power of music, ladies and gentlemen, the power of music. 
Well, uh, I've kind of been putting off this song uh, <laughs> um, because I was kind of hoping that he would uh, he would make it, but it seems like he is not going to be here. So, you know, sometimes the people that you look up to and idolize and uh, you know have great sexual chemistry with uh, they don't they don't show up. Um, and it uh, reminds you of your dad, and it makes you very sad. Um, <laughs> but you have to go on, you know. So, um, so try to enjoy this song uh, as much as possible, and I, I will. Uh, I'll try to do the same. I'm gonna find him. I guess I'm gonna find him. Uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's gonna show up. I, I would love to find him, actually. I don't know where he... Uh, naughty or nice, uh, be the spice to your sweet disposition. Cock and load, because I'm itching for your ammunition. Gonna have a white Christmas, call it a premonition. Making it rain so thick, Rudolph is wishing we could call him sick. Can't go on an expedition in these conditions. EPA can't control these ambitions. Wanna know what you take all this false? Whatever, it doesn't even matter because you're not even dating anymore. Gonna I'm gonna to try and find him. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna try not to feel so. Wait a second. He, he showed up. He's here. Cookie fed, traps and slaves us to the paddle so Donna Prancer and Nixon can hear us in your marital bed. All I want for Christmas is to snap on a mile high spread in a certain somebody's sled. So take me all night, flying over everyone's head, and let me ice the gingerbread. Pop my chimney, cause my south pole is ready to spread. And stop my talking with a ring, cause we're gonna be wed. I'm gonna pull up this Santa Claus. I'm gonna suck that same thing. I'm gonna suck that same thing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Brasperis. Thank you to Sarah, Aaron, Jacob, Raina for helping put together the show. Um, yeah, it means the world to me that you guys uh, listen to this and actually enjoy listening to this. So. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have anything prepared for that, of course. <laughs> Just gonna be totally honest with you. <laughs> 